cooking one five here and we making pizza. <laughs>
there you have it, folks. I mean, that's kind of that's how we done it. <laughs> um, you know, we had a little mishap there at the end. Uh, somebody knocked the pizza on the floor. Um, I'm not gonna say who. What are you talking about? You're the one who knocked the pizza on the floor. It, no, you did. Look you at the video. Up. It was your hands in the video. You're reaching for the pizza you knocked over. Yeah, because you knocked it over. <laughs> you knocked it over. But anyway, you know, regardless, pizza went on the floor. You know, we really didn't have a lot of time, you know, to make another one because you got to let the dough rise and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, we, you know, we would have made one and, you know, and showed you how good it was. But, um, luckily I had a roast in the refrigerator thawed out, so I was able to throw a pot roast in and, you know, just kind of whip something together in its place. So we, you know, we eating pot roast right now. Um... You know, ho hopefully the video, you know, hopefully you learn something, you know. I mean, that's why I'm doing this, you know, just teach people something, you know. But, uh, it's a good recipe. You know, use name brand cheeses, name brand ingredients across the board and, uh, you know, farm fresh vegetables, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, you, you do all that, you're, you know, you're going to maximize your flavorability and, you know, everybody's going to be happy. Um, but, you know, pizza's a funny thing. Bread's been around for thousands of years. Flavored bread, even, you know, people started putting, you know, seasonings in it and, you know, things like that. And pizza, on the other hand, nobody really knows for sure how pizza got started. Uh, you know, there's a lot of controversy around it, you know, a little competition between countries and things like that. And, you know, I, I think for the most part, everybody, you know, kind of accepted that, you know, it, Italy kind of got it going, you know, in southern Italy and everything. But um, one thing it's there is no disputing is, you know, how America made it better. And, uh, you know, we got it in here and there's a little controversy there because, you uh, you know, there's a fellow named Lombardi in New York, you know, kind of about, you know, 1905 and opened up a pizza shop. You know, he's a Italian immigrant. and But um, kind of about the same time, there's a couple of fellows, it's uh, Giovanni Bruno and his son, they come over from Italy and I kind of think, wasn't that Boston? I think they settled in Boston and... Uh, Funny thing about them guys is father and son and, you know, making pizzas. And some people's been claiming, eh, 1903, 1904, they come over here. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, but, you know, kind of from there, things, you know, kind of got going. And, you know, pizza made its way out west. You know, I think in the 30s, it was in Chicago. You know, maybe in the 30s or 40s, there was coming up with, you know, kind of deep dish pizza and, you know, things like that. And. We got out to L.A. and, but you know the funniest thing of all, because by, by the early 40s, America had invented more pizzas than anybody had had in the entire world, the whole history of the world. I mean, there's pizzas everywhere, different kinds of cheeses, different kinds of crusts, it's, it's everywhere. But, but it wasn't until like 1948 till Canada figured it out. And, you know, so I don't know what's going up on, you know, going on up there, but, you know, I think it was 1948. Canadians, you know, they finally started catching on to the pizza craze and everything. They're a little slow up there. I like them. Sometimes they, you know, a little hot behind the curve. You know, I don't know if it's because of the weather or something, but. But anyway, pizza. <laughs> there you have it, folks. You got anything to say over there? We out of here. <laughs>